With Raleigh's rapid growth, development really seems to be everywhere. City leaders say it's necessary. But the challenge is finding a way to do so without losing aspects of the city that people love. WRAL's Brittany is live at Raleigh Ironworks. Brett, that corridor along Atlantic Avenue is seeing a lot of change. It has, Ashley, and the buildings here behind me are some of the newest in the area. The work on the outside of them is all, all but complete. Now the work is on the inside and companies are starting to move into some of the offices here along with restaurants as well as they start to fill the different storefronts that's being offered here. Developments like this also have a residential component. City leaders say that's key because people moving to Raleigh want to live near those type of developments. Areas of our community that are what we call a 15 minute city where you're within 15 minutes walk to where you can live, work, play and learn or a short car or bus tr a trip continues to see extremely high demand. So Ironworks is just phase two of the development of this area by Grub Ventures. Another phase is just to the north. That's going to be called Salvage Yard. And you're now taking a look at some of the newest renderings from Triangle Rock Club. They are set to build a huge facility, world-class facility in that section. They are the first tenant of that next phase. Just so much going on out here uh, in this corridor, the Atlantic Avenue corridor. A lot has already changed. It's really going to look a lot different in the next couple of years, Ashley. Those renderings are pretty impressive, Brett. Nice, live in Raleigh. Thank you.